Niobium has several uses, but one of the most common ones is in what's called microalloying. Microalloying is simply alloying niobium with steel, typically, but in extremely low concentrations. Typically, the maximum niobium content of a niobium microalloyed steel is 0.1% niobium. However, even with this 0.1%, it still will increase the toughness and the strength and the, mold, the uh, moldability and the weldability of the steel that it's alloyed with. It is sometimes used in cars and many times used in oil pipe pipelines. Uh, niobium has been experimentally used in coinage. Uh, various different countries have actually issued commemorative coins that have both silver and niobium in them. Niobium is also um, sometimes, well, well, was sometimes used in jewelry, and it's kind of, it's not very common uh, as a jewelry, but sometimes you can find niobium jewelry. Um, for some reason I decided to get niobium, and here is a little cylinder of pure Niobium. I am not 100% sure as to the purity of this. It is at least 90% pure. Um, and yeah, there is there is a cylinder of niobium. Actually, I think it's at least 99% pure. Niobium is also sometimes used in type 2 uh, superconductors um, or niobium alloys. Niobium germanium is sometimes used. Sometimes niobium titanium is used. Um, these type 2 superconductors are typically used in MRI machines and sometimes also in particle accelerators. Tons and tons of niobium uh, superconducting alloys were used in the Large Hadron Collider. 